According to Stack Overflow, 80% of programmers consider their job as a passion and hobby, not just as an ordinary source of income. I am Natalia and today I will tell you what programming languages are worth learning and what are the most popular ones and whether the work of a developer is really that profit making. Starting from the beginning, Stack Overflow is a social networking site where developers can not only ask questions to more experienced colleagues from the industry, but also vote in annual surveys in which they decide on everything related to their work. This year's vote was attended by 100,000 programmers from all across the world. Among my friends, I often hear discussion, do I need an university degree? in order to become a programmer and in this matter a questionnaire is coming in to say that over 70% of people working in this profession have an engineering degree or higher. Among those more than 60% graduated from computer science studies. But I am assuring everyone who is scared of vision of studying at the University of Technology that this industry is determined by consistency and hard work and on the list of priorities an university diploma is far behind. It is worth remembering that when studying computer science we don't just learn how to write codes, but also everything related to this field of study. Just like studying German philology at university, we do not just learn German for 8 hours per day, but we also devote our time to culture, history and subjects that may not be related to the major alone. I also warn you that if you want to know a specific language, it is not said that you will be studying this particular one for the next few years. Computer science certainly is a solid compendium of knowledge, but if you want to focus strictly on coding in a given language, it will be better to go to a course to devote 100% of time to what you really are interested in. Despite the fact that more than 60% of the survey graduated from computer science studies, about 85% learned a new language or work tool by themselves, consulting friends on the forum and simply learning online. For many people, the work of a programmer is a dream come true because of a frequent possibility to work remotely. I mean, in this case we can sign a contract with a foreign company and receive an impressive salary in the currency of a given country without the need to move out. Okay, so that's all fun and all, but you probably didn't click on this video to get the information like that. So let's get to the most important things. In the ranking of the most commonly used languages, for the sixth year in a row, JavaScript takes the first place. It was chosen by almost 70% of programmers and data from six months ago says that there were approximately 24,000 available job offers requiring knowledge of JavaScript at the time. In the United States, the average salary offered for working with JavaScript is $98,000 per year. However, the word average, despite the fact that the numbers are still large, don't impress that much because it is only $55,000 a year. Despite the fact that JavaScript is the most popular language, the biggest amount of job offers can be found thanks to the knowledge of Java. Do not let a similar name fool you because these two coding methods do not have much in common. Well, we already know what is the most well-known language and the one that is most wanted by employers. But what about the one thanks to which we can earn the most? Looking at the average annual salary in the world, F -sharp is the winner. Thanks to it, we can earn about $74,000 per year. If you are thinking about the highest paid one in the United States, then the knowledge of Erlang and Scala will provide you about $115,000 a year. Quite high in the global ranking is also Rust, which average salary in the world indicates at about $69,000. Rust is also the most frequently chosen answer when asked what technology do you like the most. Okay, so what language should you focus your attention on? Over 25% of all respondents answered that they would like to learn Python the most. This way of coding is also pressed in the fourth place in the ranking of the most needed on the labor market. According to Stack Overflow, thanks to knowing Python, we will be able to earn a similar salary to the one that JavaScript offers. It said it is Python that everyone should at least scratch the surface of because its popularity is growing more and more and it is one of the most frequently taught languages at universities. Okay, so we're aware of what's the most popular, most needed, most promising programming language and the one that allows for the highest income. But what is simply the easiest language? Well, remember that we could compare coding technologies to spoken languages. Um, some are simpler, some are more difficult, um, there are those more profit-making and those that we can learn for ourselves because they will not bring us too much material profits. But the common question is, which will be the best one for beginners? Despite the fact that there are many sources and in other categories we find quite different data, the answer to this question is often the same. Silicon Valley's favorite, the language thanks to which Airbnb, Twitch and Twitter were built, and also the most frequently chosen one is Ruby. 
Developers say that Ruby has a beautiful and transparent syntax and whenever they can choose the coding method, they often reach for it. So there are plenty of possibilities if it comes to coding. Each language has its pros and cons and each one is hard in its own way. Despite the fact that a university degree is not needed for the profession of a programmer, not everyone can become one. Programming requires patience, concentration and an extremely hard work. Developers often give up their profession before their retirement due to the burnout. Therefore, let's not focus only on material benefits, but keep in mind that without passion, programmers' job will not make any sense. If you would like to see more content like that, please subscribe to our channel. I would also like to invite you to our website, link in the description, where you will find many useful articles, including the one about programming. See you next time.